Hello and welcome to this AQA Further Math Statistics video, Discrete Random Variables 2, the second in the series looking at the Poisson distribution. So using the definition of the probability function for the Poisson distribution that you met in the previous video, uh, and remembering that lambda is the Poisson parameter, and also that the outcomes possible are discrete and there's an infinite number of possible outcomes. Also remember the short quick way that we describe a random variable that follows a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda. So looking at an example here, R random variable is going to be the number of cars passing a point on a road and our time interval that goes along with that is in a five minute time period and x can be modeled by a Poisson distribution with parameter so lambda equals four so we would write in short this to describe that and we have to work out two probabilities, both involving that five minute period. First of all, that exactly two cars go past. And secondly, fewer than three go past in that five minute period. So at the top of the screen here, you'll just have a reminder of that probability function we're going to be using. Remember, lambda equals four and we need to work out the probability that exactly two cars go past. And very simply using that formula, that would be e to the power minus lambda multiplied by lambda to the power x, so that's four squared, divided by two factorial. And if you have a go at working that out, you should obtain this answer down here, 0.147. So the second part of this question is a bit more complicated. This time we want fewer than three cars going past, but still in that five minute time period, so we're still using the fact that lambda equals four. And if we want fewer than three, we're talking 0, 1 or 2. So we actually have three probabilities to work out and add together here. First of all, the probability that x is 0, e to the minus lambda multiplied by lambda to the 0 divided by 0 factorial. And in fact, 4 to the 0 equals 1, and 0 factorial is defined as 1. So that just gives us e to the minus 4. The probability that x equals 1 is e to the minus 4 multiplied by 4 to the power 1 divided by 1 factorial. So in fact that's 4 multiplied by e to the minus 4. And the probability that x equals 2 is in fact um, just what we did for the part A of the question, so 0.147, or if you prefer, and it may be more advisable in an exam, actually use slightly more accuracy on that. So if you remember, that was the formula for that. And then these three need to be added together to obtain the required probability. And there it is uh, written out for you. And um, have a have a check on that, make sure you can get 0 0.238. Obviously, if you have many more probabilities to add together, it gets a bit tedious. And you can also do this on your calculator. The Poisson cumulative function should be there, um, just as you use the binomial cumulative function. So you should be familiar with how to use that. And I would suggest that you check your calculator manual because obviously if you can find the Poisson cumulative distribution function button then it's going to make your life much easier 
than having to work out several probabilities and add them together. Also, you might like to have a look at the GeoGebra probability calculator. So you can find that again on, on a, a drop down main um, tab menu or use that shortcut and you'll find that the default probability normally that comes up is for the normal distribution so again you need to just use the drop down menu until you find the Poisson option and just as one example here uh, because this was the question we did before but feel free to try lots of different ones we actually had to work out this probability the probability that x was between 0 and 2 when x followed a Poisson distribution with mean 4 and you can see over here that GeoGebra will generate every um, probability here and these notice they're not cumulative they're just the probability that x takes an individual value so this is the one we actually worked out before and when you're doing this you've got a nice plot of it you can see that we want the probability of 0 1 and 2 added together you will need to tell GeoGebra the value of the parameter which is 4 and then you have a choice of less than more than or in this case in between two values and we are in between the values 0 and 2 and you can get the answer from that so it's worth perhaps having a little bit of a play around with that and looking at some different values for lambda and just working out some different probabilities and that's the end of this video